If you're an artist and dollars are important and selling your artwork is impossible and you're trying to get by in this world and you want to do more for less, this thing is just absolutely insane. It's here, the new 2020 M1 MacBook Air. And if you're anything like me, you've already seen a hundred of these stupid videos and you don't want to see another one. But the truth is no one has made this video. As soon as this thing came out, people were speculating on what the new M2, 3, MX processors were gonna be like subsequent models. Shut the f Can we just be happy for what we what we have. Yeah, I don't need this thing to scrub like 8K. When the Nintendo 64 came out, did, were you already like, when is Nintendo 128 I mean, the N64 is so legit that I, again, like the MacBook Pro, I bought it like 15 times. I keep buying the games and I keep thinking I'm done with it. And then I keep using it and it's fun as hell. A lot of folks, they were wondering, is the form factor going to change? Form factor is already perfect. We are monkeys with these. <laughs> like the kind of book you could write, the podcast you could start. No video has really talked about how this has just completely decimated the DIY repair and upgrading hobbyist market like industry. For the last eight years, the MacBook Pro 2012 that thing was so damn popular. In fact, it was the best laptop on planet Earth. I mean, you could flip those all day long. And this was the first year where this computer comes out and it slashed all used Mac prices in half. And so that's what we're gonna be editing this video on solely to see how it flies and how it scrubs through 4K footage. Now I'm shooting on A6400 Sony cams and um, I'll let you know what I think. From off to on, this thing immediately fires up. I absolutely love this computer. Now the first test I ran was with Cinebench, looking at single core and multi-core performance between my M1 MacBook Air and my 2017 iMac, which I completely decked out. And this laptop, first of all, it's completely silent. But it also outperforms my maxed out 2017 iMac by about 25% for both single core and multi-core processing. That was one serious plus for the MacBook Air. Then I jumped into a Blackmagic speed test to see how fast it was reading and writing on the hard drive. The M1 MacBook Air was consistently getting about 1000 megabytes per second faster in its write times and about 600 megabytes per second faster in its read times. The battery life on this thing is staggering. The performance, the speed, so much power glides through 4K timelines. So much cheaper than it was a few years ago. I really just wanted to get my hands on this laptop, give you my initial thoughts. There's a lot more you can do to benchmark these things, but at the end of the day, just write your damn book <laughs> and have a fun, fun time doing it. But um, kudos to you, Apple. Definitely sell your old products because they're not gonna be worth much more than a paperweight here real soon. And uh, I don't know if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.